What is going on guys? Finally, the Taken King Year 2 update. Not quite uh, the Taken King itself, but this is the update to um, transition Destiny into Year 2. Um, so with that being said, they are changing a lot of things. The guns are getting rebalanced, so odd rifles are going to be good now. Uh, shut up, watch. Anyways, um, so a lot of cool shit's happening. Um, by the way, I've been waiting for this thing to download for 12 hours. Don't know what happened. That's why my videos are kind of late, is because it took 12 freaking hours download this damn thing I had space my internet's good I don't know what happened my computer might have had a stroke I don't know what the fuck but anyways let's move on <laughs> have fun times don't okay good you better be fast I was about to be like you fucking kidding me <laughs> I wait 12 hours for this thing to load if you're about to do this shit to me twice game uh, by the way it's like legit 12 o'clock right now at night so it's that first time I've ever touched the tank king it's like it is legit, um, Wednesday. <laughs> it came out on Tuesday. Ugh. Um, oh, by the way, guys, what this is going to be, it's essentially just going to be running around, doing some things, doing, um, we're trying out some of the, um, Crucible game modes, testing out weapons, those kind of things, just kind of milking this update, trying to see what the hell it is. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, good. Okay, I was worried, because yesterday I did not equip the highest rank of whatever I got to my character, but it did, I did for this one. Which is so all my characters are officially level 34, except for my hunter, which is just kind of like a random ass thing I started. Um, that's gonna be a Titan. We can delete that, but I'm gonna wait until we get our moments of triumph to delete that, because I'm not sure if that has, that character's holding something. Anyways, um, so, I'm level 34, I'm a hunter, I'm a warlock, that's awesome, that's amazing. Alright, so the fur, okay, uh, <laughs> the 2.0.0 update. Destiny update details, attack and defense now contribute to your overall light, which is now displayed over your emblem. New ghost shells and class armor provides defense, as well as other benefits. Visit Bungie.net to see the patch notes. Sweet, we also have ghosts, and this is what the interface looks like, and that's awesome. The Blade Dancer emblem looks cool as shit now. I wonder if they change anything. I'm going to go check out Blink because I'm not sure. They mentioned in the first thing there, when they were first talking about Destiny, um, in the like the new patch updates. Oh, that's awesome. They were talking about how they were going to change Blink, and I'm wondering if they're legit going to do that because I'd be sad if it was the case. Gallahorn is also going to get nerfed severely and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, is this awesome. Also, we have the quest screen. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Anyway, let's go. What is this actually? Uh, what are these? Huh. The most important thing about being a hunter isn't the aim, or the armor, or the achievements. It's the style. You remember that. Cade 6. Speak to Cade 6 about your trials as a hunter, okay? You're really getting the hang of this hunter thing, aren't you? The light bends in some pretty strong ways. I bet anything Cade will have something to say about this whole electric blade zip thing. <laughs> I guess he's talking about our, um, a bl our blade dancer, which is our second subclass. Oh my god, the whole thing is overhauled, the things move, crucible. Venus, Rift, Moon, the right beside show, that's nice. Also, we are, are these. Um, oh, I thought there was going to be no Nightfalls or Heroics. That was a lie, I guess. Huh. Yeah, I thought these weren't being going to be a thing at all. Level 26 requirement, I meet the requirements. Level 32, yay. Are these still alive? Can I do them? Oh, we can. That's very hard, apparently. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, because it's a Nightfall. Okay. Well, I thought that was actually being taken out. Well, shit. And then we have this, which is a new Taken King planet that we're going to get our hands on soon. That is the cinematic trailer. I, I'm not sure that's copyright, so we're not going to touch that. And then we got our Vanguard Strike playlist. What does that look like now? Okay. That's cool. Vanguard Legacy. Uh, cool. And these ones are going to have special rewards when you go into the Taken King, which is going to be sweet. And then we get this, which is what we're probably going to be doing all weekend. Um, I'll probably upload a lot of videos of basically these two new game modes that they released. Not re released. It, <laughs> that they've released. Basically, there are these two new game modes that they've released, which is amazing. One is called Rift. If I can fucking find it. Is this it? No. Rift. There it is. Also, there was another one. It was, um, it was pff, Mayhem. Mayhem? Rumble? No. No. No, I guess Mayhem isn't a thing. We got Rift, but I guess Mayhem's not a thing. Maybe we'll release that. I bet that's what this is. Mayhem is up here, which we'll get later in the week. Maybe? I don't know. But anyways, that's pretty amazing. Um, Then we got Venus. We got our other plants. That's not what we want to go see, though. We want to go see the tower and uh, check out all our new little gizmos and how we can access our inventory and all those types of things that are going to make our experience in Destiny just generally better. Um, at least that's what I feel like. Maybe it's going to shit all over. I don't know. I, we haven't. It's the first day, and I have barely got to play it. Ah, oh, I can't wait till the actual Taken King comes out. It's gonna be great, hopefully. Again, I, I don't want to over-predict things because it could be like, guess what, it's the worst. Although I don't really think it could do that because everything that we've seen does look pretty legit. 
Has things changed for inventory? Now he's, we got a little bit bigger inventory, maybe. That may just be in my head. I think that's just in my head, actually. <laughs> I think we're fine. But you guys can see this. Legendary marks are a thing now. Um, we yeah, These have not been replaced yet, although they will be when Taken King drops. These will be replaced, which that means I got to get in Crucible and start shotgunning some bitches or something to get my, my Crucible up. The tower is where it's at, though. Oh, yeah. Look at everyone jumping in. Why am I wearing this stupid red fucking thing? Well, let's go see if we can actually fix that, because I don't like the shader. Um, I did get Revenant to drop. It's on my Warlock, I believe. So let's go see if I was... What I thought I heard um, in one of the updates at one point in like a live stream was I thought this update was also going to allow you to... Um, your shaders, your emblems, your um, your cars, all those things are going to be pushed into your account, not your character. So you'll be able to use like the same emblem for every character if you got it on your Hunter or your Warlock. Anyways. Um, can I not hold a lot? Yeah, I'm full. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Um, but I think these are all the ones I've gotten. Oh, these are all the ones I actually can get. Ooh, I like this one a lot. What do you need to do? The Taken King quest reward. Blah. Yeah, these are all the Taken King emblems. That's pretty cool. I like the wolf one. The one with, a, like, a bullseye. <laughs> it's really cool. All right, awesome. And then this one, maybe, is shaders? Yeah, it says shaders. Mind's eye. Um... Factions, yeah, Revenant. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> so now I can wear, I have that on multiple characters. That is amazing. Instead of me having to swap it, and that's why I want it because it looks it makes everything look badass and amazing. What is this? This one's new. Can we see what it looks like? That's really cool. So we can kind of test out what kind of emblems we want for the Taken King. That's amazing. I don't know why I'm wearing this armband. It's not my normal getup. Change this to this, that to this. Perfect. So these are all the Taken King shaders. All right. So there's that one. This one looks kind of cool. Uh, it's kind of like the, it's kind of like the Revenant, except with red. This is bluish. Where the fuck is red? There's <laughs> no red in there. Ah. Anyways, uh, we got this. I like that a lot. Just because it's really silver. It's really silver. Um, it's like copper. It's green. Why isn't it just like a black and white shader like that everybody wants? But Bungie's just like, nope, Revenant's the only one. Even though I have it, I'm I'm kind of okay. Yeah, what's with the pink little strap there? All these shaders are disappointing. I thought they'd finally learn that. Hey, this is the Trials of Osiris one. I still haven't gotten it, and Man does look cool. Shit, I'm kind of disappointed with the Taken King shaders. I legit, <laughs> I'm kind of annoyed. Cause they're all not that amazing to me. But anyways, whatever. What do you do now? Like, are you just uh? Do you just sell? Right, you still have the same function. Yeah, you still have the same function. Oh, but you have new shaders though. Okay, that's kind of cool. I might just grab this. Just get this to have it. Yeah, I actually don't mind that. It actually looks pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. What does this one look like? No, <laughs> it looks nasty. Um, do you have any new um, emblems? Ah, I don't really mind. You have a ghost one. What does the speaker do now? Is that even a thing? Or is he just like, hey, they shown us on a live stream, but I just, I don't know. Your power is greater than when we last met. We can get our ghost a different shell. We already have the normal. Oh, cool. Since this is a legendary, I got bonus shit on it now. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, what, can we even level this ghost up? Yeah, we can level this ghost up. It also consumes legendary marks and also two moats. Holy shit. Um, but this will allow us to get a bonus to intellect or discipline, detect spinny metal, or, or have a chance to acquire spinny metal when picking up an engram, which is awesome. Gain an additional glimmer when killing hive. That is amazing. Just to have a legendary out of, out the gate. Then again, the defense is not so high, so yeah, it's not it's not anything crazy because it's like level one. But still, that's cool. Yeah, these give you thirteen discipline. These sometimes they're split. That's really amazing. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's so cool. I know I sound like a freaking idiot, but anyways. Also, guys, I I didn't speak the entire day. Again, I was waiting like hours upon hours for this dead thing to download. So if you guys are like, oh, dude, your mouth just kind of blah, blah, yeah, I get it. I know. Deal. Please. Please deal. Oh, I have a Shiro's package. Why? Uh, sure. Transfer. Oh, we got new things. Oh, that's for pre-ordering the Taken King. Sweet. So we get new shaders too. That's awesome. Let's kill something that's awful. Uh, like like this. That may now. Okay, well we did it. All right, bullshit. <laughs> Let's grab that. And we got this now. That shader. Apparent. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Revenant. Let's see. I'm 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 pretty sure it's gonna be pretty kick-ass. It's pretty fucking crazy cool. <laughs> 
Oh, looks like it's a spoiler for um, New Monarchy, though. I'm going to still wear my Revenant because I just like dark better than red. But still, that's amazing. Um, I want to take this. Goodbye. Not enough space, stupid emblem. Oh, and there's emotes now. We got point as our as our one usable one. Yeah, but this. Also, why not just grab these? Because why not? We're full, but it doesn't say we're full. All right, weird. Um, we have to go talk to Kate Six. I believe that's that little thing up there. Oh, and there's Iris with a bunch of weird hive shit. Hi, Iris. What do you offer us now? So she doesn't really change that much. We get her old class items right there, by the way. Uh, she offers same shit, except it's probably not gonna. There's gonna be stuff there when taking drops, I would imagine. But this is cool. Oh, she even got like a hunter helmet there. Cool. What do you have for us? No, they don't have the insignia, but yeah, I think these are all old. Yeah, the hard luck. Yeah, no, these are all old. So they have yet to upgrade the stocks of the of the surrounding vendors. That's awesome. Not really, actually. That's kind of worse. Oh, hunter. Oh, Cade. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's the story, kid? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, okay. Um, Path of the Blade Dancer. Oh, great, because we unlocked this, and now we're actually going to have to go and, like, we're, we're going to have to go through a mission where we actually get, get this, um, this new subclass explained to us, which is really cool. Blade Dancer, huh? Yeah, always point it towards the thing you want to kill. And never use it near a terminal. You'll never get that data back. <laughs> Get out there and practice. Remember, it's all in the wrist. Um, now, for those of you guys who do not know, Cade 6 is actually like the Joker. He's like the guy who wants to be out there in the fight, but he's stuck in here training other Guardians. Um, but he's kind of like, he doesn't take anything seriously in a world that's like being like, darkness and evil guys. He's like, oh, boop. Pretty nice. I clicked it. Yeah, cool. Next step, we get a cloak. It's a shitty cloak, but it's a cloak. But now you know what real enemies look like. They can see us out there in the dark, like a beacon. Tower is the only thing between the last little bits of hope in the universe. And it is getting eaten. No pressure. <laughs> like, he's like, Jesus, dude, damn. Laid it on a bit thick, but hopefully got it. It's just between you and me. This is why you're my favorite. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Cade. You're the hey, best. Stay alert out there. I will. Cool. I've not played Destiny in so long, by the way, guys. <laughs> I've been taking a break with Mad Max, and that game is great. But this game, I'm a bit addicted to it, so it's there's that. You know, that helps. Defeat 50 enemies with arc with your arc blade, grenades, or melee. That's easy, dude. We're gonna do that immediately. Reach level 30, and we have to go to see Cade 6. Sure, let's get both of these missions, and then we'll do them. Really? That's a fucking that's a low level like low experience to generate 20 orbs. That's not easy. 10,000 experience. What? Defeat 50 cabal. That's easy. Reach level 30. I am. Incomplete. Uh, the fuck, dude? I'm level 30. I don't know what kind of drugs you on, but I am level 30. I'm past level 30, actually. I'm level 34. Is that, is that what this is? You shithead? Track. Yeah. So, yeah, you can track things, by the way. When you pull up your thing, you get it. I incomplete. How the fuck do I complete something that I've already done? Can I abandon it? And then, like, pick it up again. Oh, shit, we didn't check out the things in here yet. What is this? Why is this here? Oh, abandoned quests are... Okay. Yeah, but I did Like, I abandoned it because I can't get it. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, is it? Yeah. New step. Okay, good. No, Agents of the Darkness. Reach level 30. I'm M level 30. <laughs> what do you want from me? I don't... I don't know what it wants, guys. We're just gonna have to deal, I guess. Anyways, let's track these, because, yeah. Track, 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 track. Oh, we can only track so many. Well, I mean, let's grab some more quests. Might as well start doing them eventually. Uh, are these just old quests? Yeah, it looks like you can do all these over again. And, uh, yeah, and these are all missions that you can do from for the queen. Well, shit. <laughs> so, I guess you just do go on and you can... Well, here's what I'm going to do, guys. Um, I think I'm actually going to go do these, because these are all things we've seen before. Like, these are all quests that we've experienced just with year one. Like, this is when we have to go first talk to the stranger. Um, but it says it still offers you experience. So if I get that quest and I do all the old ex old old missions, I'll hoard those um, new quests until the Taken King drops. And then I'll just level up my character a bunch. Yeah, speak to Varric. Talk yeah, I've already done all of this, but it's still treating it like it's new. Because I guess it is a hard reset. It resets everything. Cool. I'm going to go do that. But we're going to do that Blade Dancer one. Oh, my God. Look at all this. So these are the weapons that can be updated to year two status. What does this look like? Because this is going to be my weapon for the Taken King. When, when I play with my Hunter, um, my uh, Night Stalker, um, fire it through the roof, impact pretty good, range pretty decent, stability also pretty good, but that fire rate is still pretty crazy. 
Um, what do we got though? We got um predictable recoil. That's pretty cool. Stability is slightly increased. Ooh, um more. All right, not really in love with that. The impact is significantly increased though. But that stability though, I love that stability. Hip firing increased. High caliber round, reload speed, more ammo. Hard to say. Um, and then we got the main perk itself, which doing damage reduces your cooldown for your melee, but also if you get a kill, it also has a chance to completely reset your uh, melee ability, which is amazing. Um, super good for the new hunter subclass. And what does this even look like? Because this is different, I believe. It looks different. Yeah, it looks green. <laughs> I like blue. That's I don't know why they changed it that to green. Um, also, I don't think, yeah, that's the only. Oh, but they do give you a manufacturer right there. That's kind of cool. But yeah, they changed it to green. Not loving that. I'm not sure if I like that or not. Okay, so it just increases its general damage, but also it gives it more damage when hip firing. That's just a normal uh, perk. But I do believe bonus damage and stability is all new. Like, I don't remember ever seeing that. And then we can, you can get mad stability if you want. Actually, no. You know, the stability looks like it's actually not that that much. You can get that much, but I'm not sure how much this stability is. So, yeah, we're not, we're not, I'm not sure yet. Can't wait, though. Oh, and what else we have? We have the badge. Yes, that's also the other one I really wanted to... Oh, it's purple. I'm not loving the, the changes to the colors. But anyways, we'll have to deal. Yeah, this weapon is still, like, amazing, though. It should be. It should be amazing. Um, it's got full auto. It's a great gun. Shotguns. Invective is there. Invective, did it get upgraded at all? Because it needed it to. The guns look like not... The Invective doesn't look different at all to me. Anyway, I know this is not what you guys want to see, but it's kind of what I want to see. So, <laughs> I just want to see some things before we jump in. New armor pieces. That's kind of cool. What is this? Is that it? The armor's also changing. Um, yeah, we have to pick, though, what we kind of want, though. That's kind of a going to tear me up inside. I'm not sure which is the perfect thing to go with. Yeah. Anyway, what is this? Does this change at all? Oh, cool. So they allowed it to be affected by shaders. That's really awesome. So before the hand, this looked all gold, but they allowed you to change it. Awesome. Awesome. And this is its main perk. It allows you to do enhanced damage. Except you get some, I get a lot more new perks on there. Which is perfect because it's an exotic. It makes sense. It should be like that. Um, but yeah, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just... Ah. So cool with all the changes. Um, let's go decrypt some Engrams. I know that whole part with me just being like, Ah. Oh. God. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. What can we do for you? It's decrypt. Yay. Yay. Yes, we can no longer we cannot buy legendary engrams yet until the tanking drops. So also we don't get a peek at what the vendors have, which is not ideal. But anyways, um, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead after this. I'm I have to go check the vendors real quick. Um, I'm gonna split the video and then we're just gonna start with that blade dancer quest and I'll re-equip myself and all that good stuff. And then I might jump into some rumble. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we can actually pledge our allegiance. The Dead Orbit. So this basically is my tribute to Dead Orbit. I pay them. They allow me to be under their will. Uh, under the wheel. <laughs> now, essentially what this does is it allows me um, to basically give my allegiance to a faction, and then I always gain that faction's reputation. Um, so that allows me to wear whatever shader I want, and cool, fun times. Uh, yeah. Awesome. I spent so much money, and I didn't grind before this, so this is a whole thing. Now, I want to test out this, because I'm actually pretty curious. Sapphire Wire. What happens if I just spend Sapphire Wire? Oh, fuck. It levels them up a lot. That's awesome. That's really cool. So there's a different way to really try to grind out your factions. That's amazing. How much does one heavy ammo give you? Thank you. Oh, heavy ammo gives you nothing. That's kind of shitty. Huh. <laughs> so if you don't want to go on patrols a bunch, you can actually just run around and like, and burn through your materials, resources, and whatever. Um, it is morning right now, so if I send groggy, I'll, you guys have to forgive me. Um, but anyways, so what is going to be next, guys? It's actually going to be gameplay. I just wanted to cover my general thoughts. Um, by the way, yes, that is a freaking sparrow machine, so I can actually get my time breaker, which I got from the Vault of Glass to drop. It's pretty neat. Um, essentially, guys, the next video is going to be me running through some actual strikes and doing those kinds of things, testing out weapons, seeing what I think changed. By the way, this is with no information um, about the update. I did not read it yet, so this is me just kind of grasping what weapons I think are nerfed hev heavily. Um, and yeah, anyways, so that's what the next video is going to be. Um, I will pop out another video today talking about the um, general update itself, um, what they did and what they changed. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and later, guys.